Back on Newsmakers Sunday, talking immigration uh, and the president's uh, action on the left of your screen is Jose uh, Peñalosa and Antonio Bustamante on the right of your screen, both immigration attorneys. Final thoughts. If you were to speak to a Republican and say, I know you're freaking out about the president doing this on his own, how would you argue it that this is why it's a good idea? Sure, and I speak with Republicans and Democrats and all folks every day. And objectively, number one is that this is constitutional, this is lawful. Go back and look at case history. I go far as back as Mr. Reagan and, and President Bush that did this. Number two is that objectively, financially for our economy, this is something to bring security financially. Number three, we're going to document the people who are here. They're going to pass biometrics. We're going to know who's here and who is good and who is bad. Those are three great points to bring up to them to have an objective conversation and leave the emotion side out of this and do what's best for this situation. And, and maybe I misspoke there because that's the assumption that all Republicans don't like this. Republicans look through this and they say, these are good ideas. We just don't like the way the president's doing it. Well, uh, then they should encourage members of Congress mm -hmm. to pass a law, for goodness sake. Let's get a law passed. We have an insane immigration system. Our system of our immigration policy is lawlessness. And everybody has left I'm it that way. I'm glad to hear you say that. I, it's I, a lawless policy. That is exactly right. So let's make it <laughs> appropriate. Let's guarantee the labor force we need from abroad. Let, let's organize it and have okay. it uh, uh, something that is not so haphazard and lawless as we have it now. And These folks are needed. They're not going anywhere. So do things right. Let's talk about that because this only applies to five million. So we still have my math is right. I didn't go to Stanford. But we've got <laughs> 7 million more who are still in the shadows. What do we do with those folks? This won't address that. It will not address that. And whatever program comes out, we're not going to be able to address the whole to 11 to 12 million. It's impossible. There's always going to be folks left out like there was in the amnesty law, practically speaking. In 86. So that's correct. So where do we go from here is that we're going to have to be able to address the needs of those particular people, like we saw in the video, perhaps, of the parents of dreamers, what happens with them? And we don't know. And that's why we're coming back full circle. We need legislation to cover all of this in an yeah. appropriate manner. And you would prefer then, I just want to make sure I get it right, Jose, you would prefer that the president actually try to get Congress on board with this and not just do this himself. Well, the Congress is not going to be on board with executive action. I'm talking about the month that's left to meet with, with the leadership and the new leadership that's coming in and say, look, can we bring the 2013 bill that only has a month and a half of life left. And can we vet it? Can we go through campaign? Can we go through committees and maybe get something done? If not, all right, what do we do in January? What's the timeline so I can tell the American public and my constituency what's going to happen here? And better if we do that... It, better to tackle it with this Congress or the next Congress? Well, I would try with both. I mean, right now, the current Congress, and then meet with the leadership of the incoming Congress to say, what can we do? What's the timeline? Yeah. And if the timeline works, I'd rather have legislation. If it doesn't, the president has to act. Quick final word here. I don't understand why this, uh, if anyone in the Republican Congress is, is not making it clear they intend to pass immigration reform and why they have not made it clear that there are certain issues they're willing to enact. By not doing that, they're leaving the president in the situation he's in. And he's running the agenda right now, once, even though he just got walloped in the election. And once, it's interesting. And once he does what he does, then instead of, of arguing or, or bickering about it, pass mm -hmm. a bill. Okay. Jose Peñalosa, yes. uh, Antonio Bustamante, great to see you both. Appreciate your time on Newsmaker Sunday, and we'll Thank see you, you again next week.